I felt like doing something a bit different. Now we come to our final quick fire round called Scenes We'd Like to See. This is for everyone, so if you can make your way over to the performance area, please. I'll call out ideas for scenarios we'd love to see, and the performers come in with their suggestions. OK, here we go. The first subject is unsettling things to hear in the White House. Who's the president here, me or you? It's me. Shit! Uh, things you shouldn't say to the Queen on being given your honour. Ma'am, you have no idea how much pussy this is going to get me. Uh, things a Wimbledon commentator would never say. Well, there is Sharapova, and I'm sure, like me, you long to have those long, moist Russian legs wrapped around your face. In the women's game, why does the pretty one always lose to the moose? What the voices in Prince Charles's head are saying. So what if she's your mother? Just press the pillow over her face and count to a hundred. Inappropriate thing to say on winning Wimbledon. Thanks very much, but uh, I've actually come here to talk to you about Jesus. Ah. To be honest, I only won because I'm pissed. Ah. Wrong thing to say on your first day in the army. When they said it was going to be just like the movies, I didn't realise they meant Brokeback Mountain. Ah. I beg your pardon, drop and give me 20, please. Ah. Ill-advised things for a Lib Dem leadership candidate to say. Oh, I tell you, the best thing about uh, being a Liberal Democrat, the bitches. Ah. Cliffhanger lines from a political soap opera. I'm John F. Kennedy. I've been in the shower. Did I miss anything? Ah. The <laughs> irony won't be lost on you here, President Schwarzenegger. I'm from the future, and I'm here to stop you from destroying the world. Ah. Are you trying to seduce me, Lady Thatcher? Ah. Words you'd never hear from a newsreader. The two youths convicted this morning got what they f deserve. Ah. Bad things to say at Prime Minister's question time. Uh, could, could I ask the Prime Minister, when are you going to retire, you bastard? Ah. Unlikely things to hear at the Oscars. Thank you. <laughs> I wasn't even in that one. Ah. What you don't want to hear in an NHS hospital. The face transplant's gone well. I think you look better as a black man. Ah. Commercials that never made it to air. The Indonesian children who made these trainers know that if they miss a single stitch, their family will be beaten with sticks. That's <laughs> how we can guarantee you quality. Ah. Dry skin, itchy, flaking scalp, you disgust me. Ah. What you don't want to hear a Prime Minister say. Oh my God, oh my God, first celeb big brother and now this! Ah. Get me an 18-inch ah. knife and a hand grenade, I'm sorting this Iraq shit out. Ah. Unsettling things to hear from the cockpit of a plane. Thank God we're flying. I'm too pissed to drive. Ah. Exam questions that were rejected. If the world is heating up at two degrees per decade, what is the point of anything? Ah. Sex education practical. Report to me in the stationery cupboard. Ah. Unhelpful things to say in a crisis. I know. Why don't we get the UN involved? Ah. Statistically speaking, of course, in these circumstances, most of us will die. Ah. I know this is probably the wrong time, but I've got an erection. Ah. Women and children first, then I'll shag the men and the animals. <laughs> ah. Ill-advised things to say in court. If stabbing a man makes me guilty, I'm guilty. Ah. I would like to present my own defence through the medium of dance. Ah. And I put it to you, my lad, that that child is sexy. Ah. Things a sports commentator would never say. I can't be the only person to wonder what it would be like to shag this gymnast. Ah. Just reading through the names of this Chinese team is making me feel hungry. Ah. TV shows that never made it to air. I'm Wayne Rooney, and welcome to Granny's Do the Filthiest Things. Ah. Things you wouldn't hear on a driving test. OK, when I give you the signal, I want you to wind the window down and call the cyclist a wanker. Ah. Guess I had it coming. Well, if she doesn't get up, you've definitely failed. Ah. On my signal, I'd like you to mount the pavement and kill my ex-wife. Ah. What the Queen didn't say in her Christmas message. It's been good to spend some time with my family. And Harry. Ah. I've had a few medical problems this year. <laughs> I'm now so old that my pussy is haunted. Ah. Bad things for a teacher to say. 
You know the rules, Thomas. If you forget your PE kit, I take the lesson in my pants. I don't know the answer, Watkins. I just do this job for the holidays. Unlike the excerpts from a nature documentary. This beautiful hummingbird is no match for my squash racket. And I'm having to whisper because this bear has got me in a headlock. <laughs> Bad thing to say at the opening of the new Wembley Stadium. Due to a double booking, England's first match is against Simply Red. <laughs> and all for the same price as building a rope ladder between the Earth and Jupiter. <laughs> the worst thing your new neighbour could say. What day do the bins go out round here? My wife's body's starting to stink. <laughs> I can see you when you sleep. <laughs> Unlikely things to hear at Wimbledon. Well, this crowd have really taken this young Serbian girl to their hearts. They obviously don't know her father's a war criminal. Ah. Would the working class family on Henman Hill kindly leave? <laughs> ah. Putting the middle classes off their strawberries, you know who you are, you filthy mudbloods. Ah. A dog has run onto the court and it's beaten Tim Henman. Ah. Oh my goodness, that's a double fault. One for being a woman, the other for being German. Ah. What a newsreader would never say. The football scores now, so you might want to look away if you're a woman or a gay. <laughs> News just in. I'm HIV positive. <laughs> the worst thing to hear over a tannoy system. The plane's about to land in Glasgow. Passengers are reminded to set their watches back 25 years. <laughs> Unlikely lines from the final Harry Potter book. OK, Hermione, said Harry, unbuttoning his zip. I'll show you a really magic wand. Ah. I'm sorry, Harry. I'm having a baby, and it's yours, said Professor McGonagall. Ah. Then Harry says something, Hermione says something, or oh, who cares, I'm minted. Ah. Bad ways for Gordon Brown to address the nation. The economy <laughs> is in ruins. I blame the previous chancellor. Ah. You thought Tony Blair was a <laughs> Watch this. Ah. Unlikely lines to hear in a science programme. And as the mighty lion shakes the life out of this tiny gazelle, I feel strangely horny. Ah. Well, that test was conclusive. Cats have one life. Ah. Unlikely lines what? to hear in a TV show. And now the Antiques Roadshow. This programme contains scenes of tedious dullness right from the start. Ah. And now over to Kate Humble, who's going to kick the face off a badger. Ah. Unlikely things to hear in the House of Lords. Would anyone like to swap a packet of Space Raiders for some Dairy Lee Dunkables? Ah. I used to be a lord, but after the operation, I'm a lady. Ah. Bad things to hear on an aeroplane. Oh, hi. I've got a hobby farm. Would you like me to tell you all about it for the next nine hours? Ah. The worst person to be married to. I love you lots. Oh, let's see what Mr Tiddles thinks of you. What do you think? Die, bitch! Ah. He's my dad. We do everything together. Ah. You want me to put my dingling into your fairy cave? Are you mad, woman? Ah. The worst thing to say when running for US president. I intend to withdraw from Iraq, invade some real pussies like Spain. Ah. Unlikely small ads. Erectile problems. Ha 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 ha. Ah. Would you like no strings attached sex? Contact my whore of an ex-wife. Ah. Worried about hair loss? You bald bastard. Ah. What a news reporter would never say. Reports of a mystery man loitering in the area turned out to be me. Ah. News just in. Go to a break, your wife's been hit by a truck. Ah. Even amidst the devastation of this earthquake, there are still stories of hope. I found a man's wallet. Ah. And I can't help thinking that if my country was gripped by famine, I just move. Ah. Unlikely letters to be read out on points of view. Dear points of view, I would like to complain about the weird voice you're reading out my letter in. Ah. Dear BBC, well, it's now 30 years down the line, and I'm no closer to owning a robotic housemaid. Tomorrow's world, tomorrow's horseshit, more like. Ah. The other night, I watched Nigella Lawson and picked up a couple of good tips on baking bread. And in the process, I just about ripped my cock off. Ah. Unlikely things for a royal correspondent to say. Here we see Prince Philip going over to talk to a man from China. This should be interesting. Ah. What a rugby commentator would never say. And that is a massive tackle! I wish mine was like that. Ah. Thick muscular necks, broken noses and powerful thighs. 
The rugby wives are minging. Bad things for a by-election candidate to say. I would like to kiss your baby, but we don't want to go down that road again. I am the perfect candidate. This is an election, and I am by. If elected, living standards will go up. For me and my wife. Unnerving things to hear during a medical examination. Yes, uh, I'll be operating. Oh, there you are. You'll live for about a week. Well, there's good news and bad news. But don't worry, I can give the good news to your widow. This is one of the healthiest x-rays I've ever seen. But if we compare that with yours... <laughs> you have the body of someone half your age growing inside your womb. Lines you wouldn't hear in a superhero movie. No, they call me Catwoman because I can lick my own arse. What's that, Joker? You'll be back. Somehow I don't think you will be. <laughs> Unlikely letters for an agony aunt to receive. Dear bitch, I have trouble making friends. What are you going to do about it? I have been saving up for a sex change. I don't care what my wife says. She is going to have it. My husband and I are 82, and he has recently lost interest in sex. Thank God! Bad things to hear on opening the door in the middle of the night. I saw a peeping Tom in your garden, but I warned him. This is my patch. Hello, I'm afraid my cock is stuck in your letterbox. I'm afraid your husband's been murdered. Could I borrow a shovel? Bad things to say at a job interview. Right, I hope we can all be professional about the fact that I've just split up with all three of you. Sum myself up in three words. <laughs> I suppose it would have to be killer alien vagina. Nine till five, nine till five, my medication wears off at three. Things you wouldn't hear on Songs of Praise. Hello, Canterbury, let's make some fucking noise! Christians in one corner, Muslims in the other. Let's get ready to rumble! <laughs> things you wouldn't hear at the Olympics. Oh my God, things are really exciting here at the sailing! And coming up, your chance to watch teenagers in leotards without feeling bad. Lines you wouldn't hear in a war film. Why are we speaking English? Terribly sorry, Sergeant. It's just that when you said let's all band together and take Jerry from behind... Is anyone else embarrassed that we've all turned up in the same outfit? There's only one way to settle this war through the medium of dance. Questions that were rejected from this year's exams. Amy is 16. At least she said she was. How much <laughs> trouble are you in? Unlikely greetings cards. Congratulations, you're 18. On a list of 20 people I'm going to kill. My heart goes out in sympathy. I know your life is torn. I can't believe your dear sweet mum caught you watching all that porn. Things you didn't hear at the Olympics. I am the little girl from the opening ceremony. This is my real voice. That gymnast is so supple. If my wife could do that, we'd still be together. Oh, let's look at the clock. It's more interesting than the show jumping. Things you wouldn't hear on the radio. Here on Traffic Watch, we're predicting long delays on the M4, where I'm about to hit my ex-wife's car with this helicopter. Good morning, this is Breakfast with Tony Blackburn. I'm not actually on the radio, I've broken into your kitchen. Do you want toast? Well, you've certainly stumped the Gardener's Question Time panel. None of us know how to bring a fox to orgasm. Unlikely small ads. Did you see a hit and run in the Cromwell Road on Tuesday night? Please get in touch, because I'm keen to silence any witnesses. Are you struggling to get out of the bath? It's pretty much game over for you, then. Unlikely things to hear on Question Time. Allow me to answer your question with a question. Why don't you fuck off? A good question there. Is the BBC dumbing down? What do you think, Barry Chuckle? So, good question. Gordon Brown, why don't you shove your tax increases up your ass? Is Britain becoming more misogynist? Let's ask this bitch. Unlikely lines from a TV detective show. It was simple. I just googled who done it. So what can we tell from these bite marks on the breasts? We can tell that I shouldn't be left alone with a body. Well, that was certainly 
a thing, but at the very least, I hope you all enjoyed it. This video is more of a one-off just because I felt the need to mix things up a bit, but I'd all like to hear your thoughts on it, and if you really enjoyed it, who knows, I might make another one of these. Also, please don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe and click that bell to stay notified, follow me on Twitter, let me know, and if you want to go the extra mile, Patreon as well. Speaking of which, I'd like to take this time to say a huge, huge thank you to all my wonderful patrons who help support my channel. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart, I love you all. And shout outs go to Nate Perkins, Chaos Sableye, Karen Cloudhurry, Samuel Line, Justin Konovich, Vanessa Westfall, Vincent Clark, Midnight Castle, Patanko Fan32, Maggie Fall, Almond, Tivis James Little 4, Jeremy Reddinger, The Main Idea, Perfect Oblivion, and Feral Innate. 392. Thank you all so, so much. You people are the absolute best. I love you. Anyway, that's it from me. I'll see you all next time.